Yes, sir. There goes Mauso right there. What's going on, Drew? <laughs> What's up, Mauso? How you doing? Man, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Uh, I would like to welcome everybody to Big Goose TV. Uh, very, very special guest that will be joining us today. Uh, this man really needs no introduction. Uh, a Polynesian icon uh, musically and in the community of California and San Jose Bay Area. So big shout out to my man. Thank you for coming on the show. Drew Deasy in the building. Man, anytime, Moose, you already know. I'm good on my side. Are you good on your side? Yeah, I can, I can hear you perfect. Okay, cool, cool. I'm a big fan. Uh, before we get into the football and things of that nature, let me just say, one of my two favorite tracks, I mean, all your tracks are hot, but one of my two favorites that I always listen to, man, and my kids love it too, is My Life featuring Nietzsche and Cam, and, uh -huh. uh, of course, uh, uh, Come Back to Me featuring Fiji. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm top. <laughs> So now you know which ones are my favorite tracks. And my kids are crazy because they know the whole song word for word and they sing it. <laughs> That's what's up, Oso. <laughs> All right. So, my Uso, man, let, let's first talk about your, your history on coaching the San Jose uh, Hit Squad organization. Can you give us a little bio on that? All right. So, basically, I started coaching, like, with Cam, like, when Yummy started playing. So that was, like, back. But, you know, I was never, ever really – on a full dedication, like, you know what I mean? I was touring, traveling everywhere. So basically it was more or less, you know, Cam was the one focused because, you know, of course, you know, it was Yummy, Yummy the one, you know, it was his son playing and I was in and out of coaching. And then, you know, um, my son came into play and that's when I started coaching seriously. You know, I played football my whole life, but I barely started coaching recent, recently. Okay, so that's a great I a, resume. I got a long way to go. I got a long way to go. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, um, over here at uh, over here at uh, San Jose Hit Squad, you know, we big on loyalty. You know, of course, our culture, regardless, we big on respect. So, you know, in, in the end, we teach that beyond football. You know what I mean? So, we we, we on top of all that beyond football. Loyalty, respect is uh you know our top priorities man you know family basically is is our uh main priority at san jose head squad so you know if we family man you got you got loyalty so we teach that definitely bro absolutely absolutely uh now in the community you guys do a lot in the community of uh san jose i see uh you guys are probably one of the best teams i've ever seen host other youth teams um, can you explain the the whole hosting? Because it's really like a festivity. It's it's like in a big old event every time you guys host teams out there. Yeah. So basically, you know, uh, me, my brother Cam, what 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 we really focus on is um, bringing the whole mentality of family to uh, football. And you know, ain't, ain't nothing better than you know throwing a function because that's what family members do, man. You know, we throw a function, get together for a good fellowship, and you know that's that's how we do it, man. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's always a family environment per se. Always. Okay. Now let's let's jump into some. Let's jump into your your. Let's touch a little bit on music. Uh, obviously, I've, you've done many of interviews, and I've seen you. I followed you uh, pretty much your whole career. I'm a big fan. Uh, Thank you. Does the does the music side? I mean, how does that work? Are you always busy? I mean, because you're doing music, you're doing youth football. How, how do you find time to do all that, if you don't mind me asking? Um, well, you see, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I mean, really stop music. I mean, I'm going to keep it real. You know, it was either music or my son. And, and in the end, you know, my son's going to come before music all the time. And um, I only do music really because, you know, I, I have a lot of fans. And I got a lot. I got a lot of people that you know. A lot of people that are my fans. So basically, I just you know I, I gotta make time. You know what I mean? All my days off, I I I make sure that I go to the studio and, and do music and this and that. And you know, I try to make it work, bro. Because I mean, you traveled the world. Like I said, I've been following your yes. career, and it's been a successful career. I mean, you've done shows overseas. You've done shows in Hawaii. And all the states, Fiji, all the big names, man. And a lot of people don't know how iconic you are to the to not just the poly community, but a community of California in general. Can you explain uh, what it what it means to be a role model? I mean, a positive role model. I mean, 
there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know critics out there. We all know that, right, Drew? There's always no, of course, critics critics that want to say this and that. But you do a lot of positive things, man, uh, for the for the community. So can you explain to the to the viewers watching, or or maybe might a uh, kid might see this, what it what it really is and means to be an expiring role model? I mean, you know, you know what what it is 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 basically you you gotta. Uh, it took me a while to, to to really notice that I was that I was even what you're talking about right now. So for a while, I was like, you know, just being me. I mean, still, I'm always just me, no matter what. But it did take me a while for me to be like, damn, you know, people are listening to me, follow me, and, and basically, I'm I'm being somebody in the community. And then, you know, me being who I am naturally, you know, it just came came to light when I, I really felt like I, I could be somebody, you know, that people listen to. So, you know, I, I try my hardest, bro, but, you know, like you said, man, there's a whole bunch of critics, you know, whether to say that I'm right or wrong, but, you know, I'm going to continue to do me. Absolutely. Now, now I got to ask you, because on Big O's TV, we keep it 100. And, and we, chop, we chop it up. And I know you've always been a guy of 100. Now, you did a little prison time, if you don't mind me talking about it. I want to go there for a second, if you don't mind. I, look, check this out. Was, I don't mind anything, bro. I, 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 don't, I don't got nothing to hide, and I don't care about what, whatever you got to ask. I'm going to tell you 100 exactly what it is, most. Okay. So, now, at a point in your life, you went away for a little while. Um, how many years were you gone? Three years. Now, when that, and, 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 and I ask you to ask another question after that. Now, yes. when you were gone, how was that change mentally? Because I seen the interview, because like I said, if you're a real fan, then you know about the Drew Deasy interviews. I seen the interview when you came home. Now, when you were gone for those three years, what was your mentality? Uh, what was going through your mind? Because anybody that's incarcerated, man, that's tough. That's tough. You're away from family, kids, loved yeah. ones, man. So what was going through your mind uh, during that three-year period that you were gone from home? Um, you know, r really, I, the only thing that really, really, really went to my mind was, I mean, you know, I didn't want to be. Of course, you know, nobody wants to be in there. I didn't have no kids, so I really didn't have no care. I, I really didn't care. You know what I mean? I, I didn't have no kids. I, I didn't have no kids yet. So, I mean, none of it was really... You know, like, oh, I, I really care if I'm out or not. I, I, I didn't, I didn't care at all. You know what I mean? I just was just upset with myself while I was in there, and you know, really just finding out, you know, who's there. Like every, anybody else that's been in prison, you know, you find out who's really there for you and who's really not there for you. So you know, in the end, that was my mentality on everything, and um, basically, you know, being smarter when when I was ready to come out. And the reason why I asked that question is because I see how devoted you and Cam are to the Bay Area, to San Jose with these kids. And I, I, I feel like your story is a, is, is a symbolism of, of, of a positive, a second, of being positive, first of all, a second chance and, and taking advantage of the second chances that you get. Because I know you're thankful. I mean, I'm thankful you're out because you can bless me with great music and we get to see that. But for the personal view of things, these kids – that you guys affect on a daily out there in San Jose in the Bay Area. I mean, that to me is priceless, man, what you guys are doing. So, I mean, does that, did that instill before the coaching came, all, all going through all those trials and tribulations, did that help instill how you guys are so devoted to the kids now? I mean, yeah, of course, you know, like, um, you know, I, I, I always been, me personally, you know, and, and, and you know, my brother Cam, you know, we all, basically all of us right here, you know, I mean, you guys, everybody, you know, we all raise the same. And and in the end, it's basically, you know, what you went through in life is what you, how your outlook is when you give somebody something. So, you know, what I'm, what, how I explain this is basically what you have in life and what you've gotten in life. And if you had nothing, and when you do give it to somebody and you see them, it's really all on the person on how they feel. And, you know, to me, I'll, 
I always been a person like I never had nothing in my whole life. So in the end, it's like when you give and you see people that really, really, really enjoy it and appreciate it. I mean, that's like an unbelievable feeling to me. So, you know, and, and, and you know, like, that's why, you know, we do what we do is because, you know, the feeling is really genuine over here. You know what I mean? If we do it for people, we ain't over here trying to look for, oh, we did that or we did this. Now nah, we really doing it from the heart. Man, that's that's powerful right there, man. A lot of people don't realize, you know, when when you when you're a person of influence like yourself, you know, to be a positive light, man, that's awesome, Uso. So uh salute to that. Thank you, Mouse. Now, with that being said, can I borrow one of your chains? Yeah, whenever you want, man. Okay, okay, because, you know, <laughs> you know, rent's coming up, so I figure those diamonds and those chains, uh, you know, I might be able to pay for a couple of years on my mortgage with those chains. Uh, now, now, you, I, I believe, and I might be wrong, but let me know if I'm wrong, I believe that you are the front runner and the leader of the Toko Uso movement, which a lot of people don't realize you have, you have calmed down a lot of violence between our, our two cultures, you know, um, I'm not going to go into the whole culture thing, but what I am going to say is I believe your movement has stopped a lot of violence between Tongans and Samoans, I um, mean, the gangs, uh, you know, or, or, and then just in general, and people don't shed that light, man, I feel like people don't give you, they don't give you enough credit for that, because when I, I, I seen it, but I didn't see it on that stage until you, you were doing it, and you were saying it at your concert, and your shows, and I started seeing your, your you know, your the pictures and the shirts. So can yeah. you explain the whole, the whole, you know, uh, 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 the whole symbolism of the Tokuuso movement? Can you explain that movement and and, and wh why you came up with that? Okay, so basically, right, you know, my manager is Big Seth. He's Tongan, and that's that's my big bro. And, and, and you know, everybody with us was basically Tongan Samoan, and it was. Honestly, like, you know, when we when we were doing the music, it it, it was like we were all together. So I, I really didn't mean or, 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 you know what I mean, like, oh, it was going to blow up like how it did. But we really meant it for us brothers. You know what I mean? That, that we were together. Like, you know what I mean? So we, we, we put it out there more or less for us. You know what I mean? And, 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 and then it started to escalate more. And you know, of course, we know there was there was difficult problems between the two races, especially in L.A. But you know, in the end, we didn't care. We didn't care because it was us. You know what I mean? We 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 really didn't care what, what other people were thinking or, or saying until it started getting really big. When people started hating, and then people started embracing it more, embraced it more. Than hate. hate, but you know but, you when know, when, when they started, they started doing, doing you, know, you know, of course, of course you know that's you know, when you start, start to see. see. Well, you know, well, we, we we put a stage, stage and people pe 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 people are watching. Are watching. So, in so in the end, end you, know, you know, of course, of course we're gonna we keep, gonna pushing, keep pushing, it. pushing it. So you know so that's you know, basically how it started. I mean, was really what all of us that were doing music and pushing it together. You know, that's how it started. And, and, you know, escalated. and you know, it's, it's crazy because if you look at the multitude of albums that you have dropped over the years, you have pretty much had features from everybody, man. And that, that goes to show from outside looking in how much love and respect the Polynesian community has for Drew Deasy, man. And um, you're doing it, for, you do it for everybody, man. And, and I mean, you're only one man. So at the end of the day, how do you continue to bless others, man, all around you? Everyone's successful. It seems like everyone that 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 gets with Drew Deasy, they become successful. Um, I mean, can you explain, you know, everything that, you know, how does that work? I mean, there's a lot of people in the world, bro. There's people in the world that become famous and want to be famous by themselves. And there's other people that want to be do this and do that, you know, I, you know, I always been the type of person like all of us, bro, you know, 
if somebody makes it, man, we all make it, man. You know what I mean? I'm not the type, man. If I if I take one step up, believe me, I'm gonna reach my hand back down and pull as many people as I can up right next to me. Not in front of me, not behind me, but right next to me. And this that's the that's the type of person I am. So in the end, you know, we just man, you know that that that's it, man. You know, I I'm I'm not no I'm not the type of person to be trying to be better than anybody else, man. If all my brothers is here, man, then that, that's what matters to me, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, wow. And let's touch on your son. You also got a son that's an excellent quarterback from what I've seen on the highlights. It's like he's yeah. going to be the next man up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we trying. <laughs> we trying, man. You know what? I, I, I am not I'm, – I'm not – I'm not one to be over here and be like, oh, my, nah, we trying, man. We're going to keep working, man. I, I know one thing, if he ain't in now, we're going to work till he is later on. Absolutely, absolutely. And what division does your son play at? He's on the 8U team. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so, he's, a court, he's a quarterback, correct? Yeah, he's the quarterback. Nice, nice. Now, let's talk about the kids that come through the San Jose hit squad program, because uh, like I said, shout out to Cam. I believe Cam is in the feed. Shout out to you, Cam, but uh, hard over everything. Coach Cam, man, uh, coach Cam got the camp. He got everything popping. Shout out to coach Cam. Um, so let's talk about the kids that come through your, your organization. I mean, when you get a few kids that, that maybe you see might be heading in the wrong direction. Um, what are your, you know, philosophies? What, what, what's your mentorship? Like, what do you tell, those type of kids that you see, hey, maybe, you know, this kid is going to need a little extra more love. How do you go about dealing with, with kids that come to the organization um, that may be headed that way? You know, um, I mean, I, honestly, I take it kind of the same way Cam does because Cam deals with all the older kids. And, you know, the way he the way he takes about it is, is you know, basically sheltering them. I mean, you know, it, 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 I, I, we believe that if somebody's off path, you know, it, 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 it kind of basically is because they don't got no family. They kind of out or they just lost in some certain way. So basically coming to our home and, and, and inviting them and treating them just like our kid, you know, basically is what we do. You know what I mean? And I, I kind of get that from Cam because Cam, Cam's been doing it for a while. So, you know, for my young kids, I do the same thing. But Cam is like... That's the way, That's he, the does way it. he does it. He 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 kind of brings him into his home, home and, and and basically, basically does exactly, exactly what we do. Is it, making making people, making people family. family, and and basically, and basically that's, basically that's what, we try, what we try to do. So, so I mean that, I mean, that, that, that I'm just kind of mimicking, mimicking that, that, you know, you know at, a, at at a young, a young age, age right now. Wow! Wow! Absolutely! Shout out to Big Dave. I see Big Dave is in the feed right now. Shout out to Big Dave. Oh, my host, Big Dave. I, I, I'm sorry, I ain't reading any of the words. I'm, I'm just, I see, I just see him right there. What's up, my host, Big Dave? You know what, Oos? I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, man. I'm, I, me, I'm, I'm more or less, you know, I concentrate on, on, on the level that I'm coaching now, and the level that I'm gonna coach next year. <laughs> you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm keeping 100 with you. You know, I, I, I you know. Cam been dealing with the older boys, so I, I kind of let Cam, Cam and, uh, and my also Chris, they've been dealing with the older boys and, 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 you know, leveling them up. So, so you know, I just be focusing on these young ones developing and going all the way up. Man, you know, one thing, Oosa, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. You know, I'm not one, I'm not this coach to be coming and be like, I'm going to be super coach and this, this. I just know football, man. You know, I, I know football and, and, and you know, more importantly, is I, I I know how to to get the kids to listen to me. So in the end, I'm not gonna sit here and be like I'm a super coach or I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean? And and I'm not a coach outside of helping my son's teams. And and, 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 and the only reason why I say that because I'm a busy man. So if I'm gonna take take my time out to to do San Jose Hit Squad. And coach, coach, right here, right here I'm going to put my whole my dedication, dedication into, that. into that. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. so out, outside of the AU, you know, Cam entrusts 
a lot of our coaches to do what they do. So, you know, I, I got to concentrate on what we got to do. So, you know what I mean? We just trying to, trying to level up every time, you know, with the team we got. You know, I ain't knocking nobody that – that's uh, super coaches out there and, you know, doing their thing. And, <laughs> hey, I, t- I tip my hat to you guys, man. The super coaches. You know. Shout out to the super coaches. <laughs> man, shout out, shout out to the super coaches, man. You know what I mean? The, the, whatever they got going, man. Right. But look, like, can, 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 we, can, can we be real, though, right now? This is Big O's TV 100, right, right Drew? Yeah, right. Go, so, go ahead, go ahead, Mouse. So, so, but ain't nobody messing with the hit squad. Ain't nobody messing with the zoo gang. <laughs> by far, by far, though, I'm going to keep it real. As an org, top to bottom, man, organization, man, we, we, man, I'm telling you right now, now we don't, we don't be doing what we I think you being nice right now, my also, because, because word, 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 word on the streets is San Jose, his squad runs some things up north. Now I know you're being humble right now. I appreciate. Man, you. we, I, you know what we gotta do? Is we gotta get my brother Cam on here. He gonna go in. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Cam. We gotta get Cam on the show, man. Oh man, I love that Uso's personality. But, but yeah, you know what though? In, in all, in all seriousness, though, man, what you guys are doing out there. Uh, is is incredible, man. I see it. I know the world sees it for sure. And it seems like every team that you guys play, the level of respect that San Jose his squad has for every team they host and coaches is unbelievable. I mean, even for us, when we came up, when Vegas Strong came out there, man, you guys were in the middle of the field saying prayers. Now, most people don't really realize in our Polynesian culture, that's really us. You know, people might look oh, at it like we're doing it, we're doing it for the for the Instagram or the Facebook, but we really, we really do care about the kids. It ain't really about the wins and losses, per se. And like I was saying, every team that I've seen you guys host, or it's, it's always respectful, man. So, I mean, that embodies how you, Coach Cam, and all the other Usos are, 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 are doing. You guys are doing it the right way. You're setting, you're setting good trends there uh, out in uh, California, man. So that, that's commendable, man. So salute to that. Thank you, Miles. Appreciate that. So what does Drew DZ got coming up? Let's go. Let's jump right back into the music. I don't want to take up too much of your time on a Sunday. Oh, uh, no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, basically, um, I have an album coming out called True Story. It's a street album. So, okay. you know, and then right after that album, I'm going to do Poly Take 3. Nice. Nice. Now, now, can you explain the differences in the albums? Because I know... I mean, I, I'm a hip hop fan, and, and 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 I'm a fan of yours, so I know the difference. But can you explain the difference for for viewers that might not know the difference between a poly mixtape and a street album? Okay, so basically, right, a street album is basically, you know, in the streets. Me, basically, about street stuff. You okay. know what I mean? The poly mixtape is for our poly people. I mean, you know, that's that feel good music. That's what we do. You know what I mean? And in the end, I, I, I uh, you know, probably people don't, they don't want to hear that rap, man. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear that bullshit. You know right. what I mean? It's a, a lot of people don't. You know what I mean? So now, now I got to ask you, like I said, man, on Big Goose TV, I know a lot of people are probably afraid to ask you this, but I, I got to ask. So you got your bulletproof vest on? Go ahead, Oos. Now, what do you say? To the haters, let, 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 I want to, I want, I want your perspective because I want to hear from, from, from the man himself. What do you say to the haters that say, Hey, you know what? Drew Daisy's a rapper. He does, he does street music. Uh, how, how is he going to come coach the kids? You know, and he, he does this because a lot of people see different lights of Drew Daisy. Now, what would you say to those critics and, and, and haters? I mean, I understand it. I get it. I know what you're doing, but to the haters and critics that might not understand how you can balance it out. I mean, can you explain, explain how you do that? So basically, the, 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 balancing it out is, is, is really never, never the issue for me. You know what I mean? I'm me regardless. And I'm going to do me no matter what human being in this world says, you know what I mean? So 
I, I, I don't care what nobody says. You know what I mean? Like, if you got something to say and there's something negative or something, you can say it to me in my face. You know what I mean? If you ain't got nothing to say positive or none, then I ain't got nothing to say to you, man. You know what I mean? Whether you do good, whether you do, whether you don't, people always going to talk, man. And in the end, if, if, if you can mind whatever the haters got to say, then you're going to be fine, man. You know, I, I don't care, man. I don't, I don't care. I, I, I do not care. You know what I mean? So in the end, you, you're not the one trying to change my life. So you can't set me, you can't set me over here and, and, and say what you got to do. You know what I mean? Or, or say how you feel about me. That ain't going to work. You know, because you know, in the end, end you know what I mean? As much as, as much I save these kids, kids, these kids, these kids saving, saving me, me man. man. Wow. So, you know, I, I, I ain't worried about what other people got to say about me. Can you, can, you re, can, you re, can you repeat that, what you just said, man? That, 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 man, that was huge right there, man. I think people I said, need to hear that one more time. I said, as much as I am saving these kids, these kids are saving me. Wow. And, and wow. that's the truth. That's facts, man. That's deep. And so real, man. And if and everybody so real. here, everybody here, Miles. Before I had my son, man, everybody right here in San Jose, I was a different person, man. I got my son. It's a wrap. You know, I try to change my life. I still fight the battle. So I'm not gonna sit over here and listen to somebody else tell me their opinion about me. No, I'm gonna do what I want to do, and I'm gonna do what it do. That's it, man. You know what, what I mean? I can't do. mind. Yes, sir. That's it, man. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and make you not going to make everybody happy in your, in your lifetime. So in the end, whoever you can, that's what you're going to do. And whoever you can't could take a hike. That's right. Those. I mean, you know, that's right. that, 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 that's, that's the way I look at it, my host. So. So basically what you're saying is you're going you're gonna to do Drew Deasy regardless. You're going to continue to save these kids, and if the haters don't like it, they can get it where the sun don't shine. That's it. <laughs> you, you, you know what it is? You know what it is, Mouse? Before I even did all this, right, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is a perfect way to, to uh, bring it out. When I, when I first started doing the music, right, all of us, whether you were a gangster where you wasn't from Monday to Saturday that's who you were right and on Sunday you go to church so in the end before them days there will be the days you still go to church for 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 for, for the functions you know you know what I mean the youth all the youth stuff you know what I mean Monday Wednesday Thursday you go through them because you go because your parents have beat your ass. That, <laughs> That's facts. And, 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 That's and that facts. don't mean that the whole time you ain't, you ain't being who you was or, or what you was. And, 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 and me saying this, I'm saying being a gangster. And then going to church, coming out of church, being you again, coming out, going to, on Sunday. Doing it repetitively your whole life. So in the end... When I started doing the rap music, I did it. Me and my bros felt I needed to do the poly music, and it was for the people. So, of course, I went back and did the poly music because me and, me and my bros talked about it. We worked on the whole album together. Which album okay, is fire. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's so, so, so in the end, so we did that. But see, the thing about it is, of course, we want what's best. But I mean, personally, I, couldn't, I, I ain't going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm a hypocrite. No. Everybody knows where I'm from. That ain't no secret. You know what I mean? So in the end, I, I, people will say what they want. Like, it goes back to the say this, say that. It doesn't matter to me, man. You won't stop what I believe in and what I'm doing. So in the end... That's what we're going to do. do.